serious about your performance, your work, and your grades. Okay, so we are also serious about the teaching. Okay, so we try to uh, provide the best teaching. So, <coughs> so try to uh, complete uh, the service. service okay. Try to complete the, the service by tomorrow. <coughs> So now let me give you a uh, review, review. Okay, so so theoretically it covers all the topics. Okay, all the topics are discussed uh, throughout the semester. Okay, so so many uh, sections uh, in seven chapters. Okay, but uh, practically I, I can give it only uh, ten problems, right? For example, I, I plan to give you ten problems. Okay, so roughly, roughly like a uh, half problem from the. Similar to first two, first two exams, okay. So half problems, similar, like five problems, similar to uh, first two exams. Okay. So for the for the topics in chapter chapter one through chapter four, just uh, review first two exams, right? If you have extra time, you can review all topics, all topics. Okay, but if you don't have enough time, so you can review the yeah uh, first two exams. I I try to give you yeah. Maybe around five problems similar to first four exams, okay? And also the other five problems uh, are from the topics after after second second exam. Any questions? Are you gonna post this to the blackboard? Yeah, it has been posted on blackboard, but it's not available until the class is over. Okay. So so uh, yeah, I'll download from the blackboard. Okay. <coughs> So that's how I just want to yeah, give, give you a review uh, from the topics uh, in chapter five and in chapter twenty seven. Okay. <clears throat> so for example, uh, let's 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 review. Okay. I think I will give you uh, finally I'll give you an example. Okay. I'll give you an example how to uh, diagonalize uh, simple uh, matrix two by uh, three by three matrix. Okay. So. At this moment, I think uh, very likely I'll give you a problem yeah, how to diagonalize a three by three matrix. Diagonalize. Yeah. So later I'll give you uh, before this uh, review is, uh, is over, I'll give you an example okay, to how to diagonalize a three by three uh, matrix. So very likely I'll give you a similar problem. So this, so this is it. Uh, Last challenge uh, problem. So chapter five. So yeah, it, it's uh, it's uh, being posted on the blackboard. It's available after after the uh, the class. Okay. So chapter five, also the reality. Okay. So first one is also also the projection of a vector x in n dimensional onto a subspace. Yeah, I think you are quite familiar with this one. This is very basic uh, in, in, in the algebra. Okay, so you should know how to calculate the uh, the optimization of vector okay. in n dimensional um, to a subspace, okay. like a plane, like a plane. Okay. So you have the formula. So I'm not going to you just mention this topic. Okay. And uh, uh, second one is also going to complement of. Uh, Subspace V, okay? So suppose we have a subspace V and we use a V perpendicular to build its uh, orthogonal complement, okay? So can you do uh, this concept, orthogonal complement, okay? So in three dimensional V, it conveys the, the plane through a region, so what is the orthogonal complement of this, uh, this, this plane? And you know that actually the, the, the line perpendicular to on this plan, so there is the arithmetic, okay? So, so the other one, uh, grammy schmidt process, okay, so this is a must know uh, topic, okay, so linear algebra, after linear algebra, so you must know this uh, process, so it's called uh, grammy schmidt process, okay, so we are not going to review in details, details okay, so you should review after class, I just mentioned uh, this one, that's an important topic that you must know, okay? So, uh, I may ask you a question like this. Given two or three linearly independent vectors, how to construct two or three 
also normal, also normal vectors, okay? For simplicity, I may give you just two, two linear independent vectors. Okay? Can, you, can you construct two also normal vectors, also normal vectors, given two linear independent vectors, okay? So the other one, a fourth one, is about the uh, uh, concept uh, of uh, orthogonal matrices. Orthogonal matrices and its properties. Okay? So you know the concept definition of orthogonal matri uh, matrix. Okay? So if a matrix X times X, this linear transformation preserve the length. Preserve the length, then this matrix I is called an orthogonal matrix. Or I is orthogonal if and only if a transpose of I times I is identity. Okay, so this I is a, a square matrix, a square matrix. And both I times I is a Okay. Number six, uh, determinants. For determinants, okay. Do you know how to, you need to uh, be able to calculate the determinants of uh, matrices. Okay, so how to calculate the determinants, okay. Properties of a determinant of matrix. Okay. For example, know that determinant is not a linear function. Okay. So determinant itself is not a linear function in matrix. Okay. It is not linear. Okay. But in the last in the last case, so I ask you to calculate determinant of a two times a. So many students thought that it's a linear. Let's take two out, two times determinant of a. So it's not true. Okay. So determinant itself is not a linear in matrix. Okay. It's a linear in row, in row of a matrix. Okay. So if you have a two common factor, common factor two in one row, so you can get it out. Let's take two out of the determinant. So two times determinant. Okay. So it gives you determinant is a linear in in row, each row or each color, okay, it's not linear in, in matrix itself. So, okay. so this, this is some, uh, yeah, uh, related uh, property, property of determinants, okay. Also, uh, also for example, uh, given, so what's the relationship between determinants of matrix A and determinants of uh, transposal A, okay. What's the relationship between the determinant of A and the trans and determinant of the inverse matrix A? Okay, I, I, yeah. I think uh, I asked you uh, in the last quiz, last quiz, okay, so many students uh, uh, even the wrong answer. Okay, so clearly, they, you, uh, those students didn't, uh, didn't uh, grasp the properties of the uh, determinant, okay? So, need to be able to, uh, no properties of determinants, know how to calculate determinants, okay, like uh, order two, order three, or order four, okay. <coughs> so, so the one's about the determinants and uh, elementary row operations, okay. If you perform, for example, you could use uh, uh, Gauss elimination to reduce the matrix sure there to uh, uh, reduce one, Just like uh, reduce the row operation, okay. So when you perform the elementary row operations, so what's the relationship between the original matrix A and the determinant, sorry, determinant of original matrix A and the determinant of the reduced one, and okay, that would be determinant of a uh, reduced rational form, okay? So you know the, the, there is a relationship among them, uh, between them, between them, okay? You, I think I asked you last phrase, okay? So you should be able to know the relationship between uh, determinant of a uh, original matrix I and determinant of a uh, uh, reduced row action form, okay? okay? For example, if you change your two rows and uh, determine differ by sign. Yeah, if you multiply one row and add it to the other and does not change the determinant, okay? Does not change the determinant, okay? But if you divide by one row, okay, by, you write, divide a one row by a, a scalar, okay. then you, you have to change, you will change the determinant, okay? So how to calculate determinants? So there are multiple ways. So one way is called the Laplace extension, okay? It's called the 
two factor expansion because we can uh, expand expand determinant along one row or one column to get uh, uh, a simpler simpler determinant the feeding combination of a simpler a simpler uh, determinant. Yeah. Also, a fifth topic okay so I want to mention is the Kramer row Kramer's row to solve the linear system where. Uh, the determinant of the coefficient matrix i is, is not zero. Yeah? If the determinant of the coefficient matrix i is not zero, so you can use uh, theoretically you you can use the uh, uh, Kramer's rule to solve it. Okay. For example, at least you you be able to solve backhand using uh, solve uh, the two by two linear system or three by three linear system by using uh, Kramer's rule. Yeah? Eigenvalues, eigenvalues, hey, well, I, I mean something. So choose the seven. Eigenvalues and eigenvectors, so I, I missed the second thing, topic, topic is eigenvalues and eigenvectors, okay. The definition, okay, the first important topic is you know the definition of eigenvalue and eigenvector. Okay, if uh, lambda is the eigenvalue and j is the eigenvector, then this pair satisfies this equation. A times V equals lambda times V, where well, V is non zero. V is non zero. Okay. <coughs> okay. So according to this definition, you can you can yeah, solve a uh, related problem. For example, so suppose lambda is eigenvalue. So what are the eigenvalues of two times a and a square? Okay. Can you derive? an eigenvalue of 2a for a square or a cube for a cube three factors okay and also so if you have all eigenvalues real, real eigenvalues okay what is the sum of the all eigenvalues okay what is all products the products of product of all eigenvalues Okay, so you, you have this uh, problem, okay, this problem. Of course, the important topic is how to find, how to find eigenvalues if uh, a metric square matrix A is given. Okay, so how to find the eigenvalues of uh, a matrix A, okay? So basically, you just solve this, uh, this we call the uh, characteristic equation for lambda, okay? So you first calculate this matrix, a minus lambda times identity matrix. You get this matrix and the calculate determinant, and let determinant be zero. So this is called the uh, uh, characteristic equation. Okay, you solve this characteristic for eigenvalue lambda. Okay. So how to find eigenvectors associated with uh, eigenvalue lambda zero? Okay. So how to find uh, eigenvectors associated with uh, eigen uh, value lambda zero. Okay, you solve this linear system. This is a homogeneous linear system. Okay, so a minus this eigenvalue times identity and time, times on the vector x equal to zero vector. So this is a, you solve this uh, not a homogeneous linear system. Okay, so the solution set basically just called kernel. Kernel. Okay, so kernel of this uh, matrix. Okay. <coughs> So once you know this eigenvalue and this matrix is known, you just calculate the kernel. Okay, you know how to calculate the kernel. The kernel just solve this linear system. It's a little set to so this, to this uh, homogeneous linear system. Yeah. Uh, the kernel, I think kernel is called the eigenspace, right? The kernel is called eigenspace. Yeah. Uh, kernel, uh, this kernel is called the eigen, eigenspace for eigenvalue lambda zero, okay? Next one. Next one important, most important topic in, uh, in this chapter, okay? How to diagonalize a square matrix, okay? How to diagonalize a square matrix, okay? Like this one, uh, this matrix is quite simple, okay, plus three by three, okay? A lot of zeros, okay? So how to diagonalize a uh, square matrix? So this one clearly is not diagonal. 
diagonal diagonal matrix just here, 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 the one, okay? It's not a diagonal. So how to diagonalize this matrix, okay? So you have to, several steps to follow. Your first step, of course, you have to find diagonal values first. Other values, and for each diagonal values, you try to, you try to, yeah, find its eigenspace, right? Eigenspace. So try to find eigenspace of each angle value and uh, find a faces of each eigenspace, okay? And then you collect all faces vectors. Okay, collect all faces vectors. Is that enough? Is that enough? Okay, you have to check is that enough? Okay. So you have to calculate the add up the dimensions of all eigenspaces. Okay, if the sum of the dimensions of eigenspace, eigenspaces is equal to the n, okay, equals to n size of the matrix A, then, then uh, this matrix A is diagonalizable. Okay, otherwise, if the sum of the sum of uh, dimensions of eigenspaces is less than n, then this matrix A is not diagonalizable, okay? So if A is diagonalizable, you have to uh, give me one invertible variable, uh, one invertible matrix, matrix S and one diagonal matrix B, so that inverse of S times A times S equals to B. So this is called the diagonalization of the matrix S, okay? So this is a, uh, this is an example. I think I will give you. I will I will show you how to solve this problem. Okay, this is the answer. Okay, this is the answer. So uh, this matrix A, how to construct, how to find this ma uh, invertible matrix S, so that inverse of S times A times S equals this equal to this identity matrix. Okay, this this matrix is called B, but I know I know matrix B. Okay? So this is called a diagonalization. Okay. So you, you know, for for this kind of problem, you need to uh, you need to find s, you need to find this b. Okay. You don't need to calculate this one. Okay. You don't need to calculate the inverse of b. Just give me what what is the s, what is the b, so that uh, s b satisfies this equation. So this is called a uh, diagonalization of the matrix s. Okay. This one says A is similar, okay? If you have this uh, 